Welcome back for another tutorial from I Shoot Reno. Today we're going to look at Instagram and we're going to talk about filters, frames, and the little contrast brightness button. And we're going to take a look at basically the upload process. So let's start by launching Instagram. And you can see I've already started a little bit here. So what I'm going to do is cancel out of that. But basically when you're ready to post a photo that you've already taken, you can go click on the post photo button and choose to upload in the bottom left. Um, and you can select from your uh, library here. I'm just gonna take a photo that I haven't posted. We're not really gonna post this, but we're gonna select that guy because I already made it square and it fits the square perfectly. So we're just gonna choose the photo. And when that comes up, usually it starts like this and you can scroll through your list of different filters so I do a lot of editing to my photos before I post to Instagram, so I don't usually use the filters, but sometimes they can give you an extra added effect. Or if you uh, you know, just took a photo and didn't do any editing to it, the filters really help out a lot. But you'll notice everything's staying pretty square here. It's because I have the frame button turned off. And we're gonna go back to normal and we're gonna go to the top left here and click on that frame button. You'll see it looks like more of a, a padded frame now. So as we scroll through the filters, we'll see some of these guys actually have frames. But if you turn the frame off, they go away and you can just use the filter. So that's really up to you. Um, but, you know, see some of them have rounded edges. Early Bird is a really popular one. But I'm gonna turn that frame off. We're gonna go back to normal. And we're just gonna try this little sun looking guy in the bottom left corner that has like a half gradient filled in. Let's click on that guy. And it's going to think for a second, and then it does some magic. This is like a, an auto brightness and contrast uh, filter, I guess, or a, I guess edit, or however you would say. But it, it's pretty magical what it does, so you can turn that off if you don't like it. Uh, this is something I use in Instagram quite often. I get a lot of edits exactly the way I want them, and then I get them here, and I try this button, and it looks even better, and I'm like, oh! So in your settings, you can go to general and choose Instagram, and you can set whether or not to save that image as well, the, the processed image in Instagram. So, and you can save that to your, your camera roll, so you can use that however you like outside of Instagram. So basically what you would do is you'd, uh, you know, confirm all your settings. You can use the little guy in the bottom right to get rid of the filters. Uh, confirm your settings by pressing the check mark, and go on about posting your, your shot there. And that's basically how the filters and the brightness contrast button and the frames work in Instagram. Thanks for checking us out.